so this is going to be the sixth program in the lab manual which is to classify documents uh, using an a-based classifier uh, we can use built-in java classes or apis and uh, we need to also calculate the accuracy precision and recall for the data set right so for this program we are going to use the fetch 20 news group the 20 news group data set basically so let me just load it from the scale So there are two data sets if you can notice here. So this one is fetch 20 news groups and fetch 20 new, new groups, news groups vectorized. So the difference between these two data sets being the 20 news groups is basically a collection of text which corresponds to particular class of text. And we'll see that in a moment. And the 20 news groups vectorized is basically taking this text and representing as numbers. When we build our model, it is only possible that the model understand numbers and not really works well with textual data. So what we try to do is we use a vectorizer such as TFIDF. So TFIDF stands for term frequency inverse document frequency. So we use that to you know calculate how many times this word appears in these documents and which category does it like what number can we associate with it and represent it in numerical form and then you know pass the data to our model and then do it so rather than taking the data vectorizing it and then passing it to it so I, what i'm going to do in this program is i'm going to go with the vectorized data set and uh, just take it from there so that we can reduce the tasks of vectorizing the data yeah so now that we have done that we will take our model We use the multinomial naive base for this. Uh, so we also need the from model selection. Yep, I think this should do for now. So let's just load the data into some variable. Let's say doc equals. Okay. So, like I said before, this data set has uh, 20 uh, variables, 20 classes basically, which range from atheism, graphics, MS Windows, miscellaneous, so on, right? So, these are the 20 classes. And each text document in this data set. Is corresponding to one of these classes so we're going to build a naive based model which is going to classify the data based on the categories so if you give it an input text it should tell us which class it belongs to so we're gonna do that so let's build the model first model equals multinomial naive base uh, so once we have the model, we need to fit the model. I don't think I've uh, taken the data and uh, split it. So I'm going to split my data. I just missed it. Sorry. So just like in other programs, doc dot data. So now that we've uh, split our data into training and testing examples, so let's fit it with uh, yep. So we finished building our model. So let's now calculate the accuracy, precision, and recall. So the way we're going to do it is. Metrics dot accuracy score y test okay so what this line essentially means is 
we are trying to calculate the accuracy score given the y test which are the ground truth and how is our model performing on x test so given x test we are expecting y test but is the model giving back the same as y test if it is you know we're going to add it and increase the accuracy and so on so you get the gist of it so in the same way let's print precision and recall as well so we are use precision score So we also need this is another parameter which we need to give for precision and recall as well. Uh, there is some mistake here. Oh, okay. I put it outside the the bracket. So I put in the print bracket. It's supposed to be inside the recall method. And uh, yep. So this is the program. We are importing the data set. We are creating a model. We are splitting it into train test and uh, okay. I think it's supposed to be test. Yeah. And uh, we are creating the model here. We are fitting it with X train, Y train, and we are so once the model has been fit, we are going to show the accuracy, uh, precision, and recall. If you want, you could also print uh, dot dot target names to show that the data set has been loaded with the right target names. You could also see the target. So. When you see array of 17, 7, 10, so on like that. So what these numbers correspond to is that you know each of this number is you know suppose 11 corresponds to misc for sale. So this is the category of that particular entry in the data set. And uh, so it's a numpy matrix actually. So if you can see it is part matrix of numpy. Uh, let's just print one element okay so yeah it's a uh, the 1 by 13,000 dimensional sparse matrix so each of the number is uh, vectorized and encoded in a sparse matrix uh, yeah so this is pretty much it yeah that's it